will your priority be in the review? Thank you. Thank you. Nice one. What is the plan to tap talent in arts, sports, and nurture it from an early age, and especially from all parts of the country, and especially the rural areas, because there's a lot of untapped talent there. And uh, lastly, on our, especially athletes, you know, every time our national anthem uh, is played out there and how proud they make us, do you feel or do we really appreciate them as much, even our footballers, where are people changing their citizenship to other countries? Is it that, what is the plan to ensure that uh, we, we take care of them so that they don't have to sell their nationality to be appreciated out there? Those are four, a bubble, take, uh, the fifth, a missy, and coach, we can, you can do six. They are very short questions. If you answer them the same way, we'll make very good progress. Yeah, thank you, Chairman. I had two, so I reserve one at the tail end if we get time. I'll ask yes. one for now. Okay. Uh, so remember to give me if there's time. Um, the, the ministry, uh, one nominee, the ministry seems to not be keen on our community clubs. We find, in fact, uh, myself have spent millions of shillings trying to sponsor a tournament as a member of parliament. Once the tournaments are over, these boys are just remained with trophies and a cash uh, as, as sponsorship. But beyond there, they are remaining remain in the villages. And yet, they are talented. Uh, you try to invite the sports uh, organizations, the, all the 18 premium clubs, they don't turn up, they don't come to scout. Where, uh, what is new that you are bringing so that our local clubs, local, even the stadium, they are dilapidated. And that is where the talents are. You are talking about bottom up. The, the talents are actually at the bottom. There are, there are no football manufactured in towns. They are manufactured down there. And I think, I believe this is, this is the gap. Uh, we are supposed to be a football nation. What are you going to do? Different this time, around. I will see you in Matisse, Black Stars there, Mitume FCs, that you are playing with them. In fact, probably could have come in your sporting gear, not in a suit, because that's where you are going. Thank you. Coach? Um, Honorable Babu, my question has been asked, but I will just, to the left again, uh, but I'll just uh, give you something to uh, food for thought that our athletes generally are totally not recognized and appreciated in this country. Look for instance, why did we have to go for Naomi Campbell to market our tourism, our Kenya as a tourism destination? Our sportsmen, um, particularly at AK, um, an anonymous um, uh, uh, athlete has written me a message to say there's a lot of corruption that you must check, especially when our athletes um, are going f to perform or to, to compete in international stage. Number two, harness and tap on athletes, uh, specifically someone like Eliud Kipchoge, and it, who's been used by international brands as a marketing um, sensational, and tap on, on, on such face to market our country and our sportsmen. Above all, please, if we approve you, make sure that there is a total restructuring of the sports industry in this country. You can quickly answer those six, Bob. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, uh, very quickly, starting with the uh, Honorable uh, Gikaria. The question of royalties and benefits generally to let me go beyond music music is a big part of it but let me call it the creatives the creatives whether it is musicians or fine artists or um thespians in our theaters or uh, or, or uh, performing artists this is a huge problem and um Mr. Chairman, it, it should be noted that uh, we, we have a board in this country called KEKOBO, the Kenya Copyright Board, which, with due respect, I believe is in the intellectual property because this really must be recognized as part of the intellectual property that we, we get from, uh, from, uh, from our artists. Um, we should be able to get more out of it. 
but we also have uh, uh, organizations called CMOs that collaborate with uh, Kekobo to sort of collect royalties on behalf of their members. And we have three main ones. <clears throat> we have the Music Copyright Society. I think this is the, the, the best known. We have the Kenya Association of um, uh, 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 Music and Performers' Rights Society of Kenya. These uh, organizations have not done justice to the artists that they represent. In fact, just the other day, there was a case that made headlines where these societies were actually taken to court by some of the artists. And um, what came out is that it is a space that is riddled with uh, uh, opaqueness, if I could borrow that popular lexicon. Um, but it's also riddled with a lot of um, um, mismanagement, and it's a space that will require a lot of attention. We need to, re to take a look at the law. We have a law in this country called the movable move and for the House to consider recognizing the creative space and the artistic talents as intellectual property, but also as movable property, so that we can give sufficient weight to the creativity of our, of our young people. It is an area which, uh, Honorable Gikaira, through the chair, I want to assure you that the architecture of this ministry as has been communicated in the executive order number one of 2022 provides an opportunity perhaps for the first time ever for this space of creatives to be given form. If you approved me to take this office, I would move with haste to establish a whole directorate for the arts, a directorate that would give form to this sector but would also then make it possible for us to allocate resources, to allocate funding to this sector and support our young people engaged in, uh, in the creative industry. You also did ask the question um, on uh, the artists getting what they deserve. I believe that once we have put in place we formalize that space, then it should be possible for us then to raise the entitlement that they, that they get. Honorable Russell, um, and Mushmoa, you know that uh, while working with you in my recent past life at the Foreign Office, during which again we successfully got the Foreign Service Act enacted, you saw the deliberate effort we put in to start profiling our sports people and turning them into ambassadors for this country. For instance, when we sought to sit on the UN Security Council, among the ambassadors we put forth, to market Kenya as being worth of uh, a place on the UN Security Council were our sports people. One of our highest profile activities was a marathon we organized in the streets of New York at the tail end of our campaign for the UN Security Council. And we tapped the profile of great sons of this land, great sons and daughters of this land like Eliud Kipchoge. And this is something that we have to do but as you have correctly said, this must be turned into an industry. We cannot continue running sports and the arts as a sideshow, as a pastime. This is something which you should know. You can actually live from it fully and be able to, to take care of yourself. And it can be such a huge contribution to our GDP. It is happening in other economies. It's happening in places like the US, in South Africa. I mean, when you look even the way Tanzania is managing their sporting space, football, 
you can see there is already progress towards industrializing sports and the arts. We must do it, and I commit to do, to do so, should I find favor of this committee. Honorable Emase, Mr. Chairman, you are right about the share of the, the fund with 65% 60, 60, going to, to health care and just a little bit, 30% going to sports and 5% going to the arts for a fund which was created by the Sports Act for purposes of this particular, uh, this particular area. We, we have to change that. We have to change that. We have to provide money.